Do you think this is um, the pressure to make changes? He's not used to, it doesn't seem like, working with these booster types who, as, as you know, only two at USC, have a lot of influence. So I wonder what it's been like that you think from the inside for him to make these decisions. I think this has been probably eye-opening for him in that he's really not struggled much as a head coach, right? And when you're in Oklahoma, I think you were the biggest show in town. And I'm not saying he didn't get questioned by anybody, but he took over for Bob Stoops. And, and Bob really, you know, had a program there that he'd built up and had a lot of resources and really good staff that, that Lincoln took some of those key pieces and kept them, which was smart on his part. They were bad on defense. They got a little better. And then ultimately he made a move, which I think was a hard move for him. And it was a hard move for his family in that, you know, he became a villain to a lot of people at, at, around Oklahoma where they really bought into Lincoln Riley. That is not easy for anybody. And then he moved out here and with a bunch of, you know, support people and, and assistants and those families, and it was good last year, right? Because they were so bad when he took over and Caleb won a Heisman and there was excitement. But then this year, it was like, you know, I felt like they, they are, I don't want to say they were making it harder than they needed to be, but you had a lot of self-inflicted stuff there. And, you know, one of the things that I think is hard is, you know, Lincoln is out here, they had an AD change and the AD got forced out at USC. And now he has, I think, a much better AD in Jen Cohen. She came from Washington. She's really well-respected in the sport. And I think she will be good for USC. But I think right now, I think this is a program that is, is still trying to find its identity right now. We know Lincoln is a great play caller and a great offensive coordinator. But to win a national title to get where USC is, it requires something different. It requires you need to be a great head coach. And... I'm not saying Lincoln can't be that, but it's that's the part that was, you know, you still have to take another big step forward. And now they're going into the Big Ten next year. Um, you have these other programs in Washington and Oregon who are really going at a high level. UCLA is good. I mean, UCLA is not great, but UCLA is not, not struggling mightily either. So you're going in to a much tougher dynamic. And I just think there's a lot of stuff that, I think he's got to figure out going forward in terms of like, how do I manage a transfer portal again? You know, 3.0, how do I recruit in high school here? Um, and I have to do all this pretty fast because now I have to get a defense coordinator in because yes, there's a lot of people who are really down on Alex Grinch who got forced out and fired last weekend. But I don't think that was the only problem. There was a lot of other issues there that, that they need to fix. And I think Lincoln knows knows a lot of that. I just think it's like, this is the harder part than, hey, I'm, you know, the X and O stuff and the things that, you know, play really well on social media and the highlight shows. And, and yeah, it's great. You've, you're a really good quarterback coach who can, you know, lure Heisman talent and develop Heisman talent. But, I'll, you know, for him to get to where USC people want and where Lincoln wants to get, there has to be a lot more that has to go on. And I'm interested to see how he tries to remedy that because that's going to take some growth. A few more questions for Bruce Feldman. Who might he get for Decord? You know, the big name, I did a story on The Athletic on on uh, Sunday night, Monday, about this. A big name out there, Jimmy Leonard, obviously you know that know him well. He did a great job at Wisconsin. Um, really good secondary guy. That's, the, that's a big issue for that team right now. They are really bad on the back end. Um, would, would Jim Leonard want to come out to, to Southern California and work with Lincoln Riley? I don't know the answer to that. I, I don't think money would be an issue. It's just when he's at Wisconsin, your complimentary football is a different thing. You know, it's, I don't want to say it's a lot easier to be a defense coordinator in the Big Ten, but I, in that Big Ten, yeah, I do think it is, as opposed to working for somebody who came from the air raid system. Now, it's not to say Lincoln Riley is exactly now like what Mike Leach was, but that's a different dynamic to work as a defensive coordinator. There's other guys, Tony Gibson, who actually has been an area defensive coordinator with um, Dana Holgerson. He's now at NC State, very well regarded. Um, Tony White, who played at UCLA, he's done a really good job at Nebraska, and he has spent a bunch of time on the West Coast. I think there are some some interesting candidates, but how they do relative to, you know, if, if they to make this move, um, I don't think it's as, as seamless as it is when they work for different head coaches who maybe don't 
go uh, attack the offense quite to the degree Lincoln does. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.